outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. One eternity later. Good morning and happy Vlogmas and Hatmas day 22. Also today's hat is my antlers. So, anywho, I'm gonna take these off because it actually does hurt to use. <laughs> so, as you can see from the thumbnail, something happened. And I'm not moving my neck for a reason. Basically, I was, uh, let's see. Let's just go into story time. Yeah. So story time thought is that I was going down the stairs and I fell down the stairs, trying nine flights of them, or nine steps. I did hit my neck and my head and my shoulder blades on every step all the way down and it knocked the wind out of me and I didn't have my phone with me so I had to safely travel upstairs to get my phone but I wasn't allowed to, obviously me being a first responder and lifeguarding I knew I knew I wasn't supposed to move my neck at all because it could be a spinal damage so I wasn't doing that but I still had to go get my phone because I didn't even have my watch on or anything so I had to like travel for help so I went upstairs got it sat back on the stairs and like braced myself against the wall so then I was flat called my dad he answered and told me that I need to just stay there because the, my mom and uh, my dad were at home, but Jeremy was at work, so I didn't care who was gonna get me first. I just needed somebody to come help me because Ju Okay, fine. First of all disclaimer Jude was not with me. She was asleep in her crib fast asleep and She was not in my arms at all my laptop and my camera which I'm filming on currently and a cup of mine were in my hands other than that fine laptop and camera perfectly fine as you can tell but I can't bless you my mom and dad came in the house uh, and then noticed that I was still not moving obviously I'm not allowed to move they needed to do a simple adjustment as in like they need to know if I needed to call an ambulance or not so they called 911 911 showed up I had two paramedics, um, a girl and a boy, and they were very sweet, very nice, and they were like, can you walk? And I was like, yeah, I already did my C-spine check, as in like, I can move my toes, look side to side, look up and down, wiggle my fingers. I'm not numb or t like tender anywhere, like I can't feel my legs kind of thing. So the only issue was from like my shoulder up to my neck. So it's like my pain is from here to here. Um, but like obviously my shoulder and my back. So I'm kind of at an angle because I'm sitting in like the crevice of the couch, but I'm trying to stretch obviously, but I'll get to that in a second. Basically got the ride of the Ambo, by the way, in the middle of the night is freezing. I was wearing PJs, a t-shirt and my Uggs. I was so cold. <laughs> and I was sitting on the gurney getting traveled into the car uh, or the ambulance and they were just very sweet they had to put an IV in me which they couldn't put it in my arm so they had to put it in my hand and yes I'm allowed to take this off right now I just haven't done it yet but they they did that um, they never they didn't take blood obviously but I had to sit in the collar for at least four hours like the neck brace 
when I tell you that was the stiffest pain of my life, it really was because I could not move, obviously. I couldn't see anybody. I've been staring at the ceiling for four hours. Wasn't allowed to go sideways or anything. It was, yeah, it was atrocious. I will say that it wasn't the best. I don't know how to explain it. It was just literally me staring at the ceiling all day. And I couldn't even see people who entered the room because the door were at your feet, you know? And I was laying flat on my back, so I couldn't move. Then time passed, it was probably around 1.45, 1.50, give or take about 2 a.m. that I was actually in my room and uh, I just, finally they said that they were gonna do some tests and then they realized that they were gonna just take pictures so that I got an MRI. I was apparently supposed to get an MRI and x-rays but they just, they knew that I was moving and functional so they just decided to just give me an MRI which, you know, I guess clear picture which is fine. Uh, I waited for hours. Then the worst thing happened. I had to go pee. TMI. I know I had to go to the freaking bathroom. Couldn't go to the bathroom because, you know, I had to lay flat. How do you pee laying flat, you ask? You can't. So I was holding it for at least two hours. <laughs> and I was like, uh -huh. So they gave me options on how to go to the bathroom and, you know, relieve myself. It was a an external catheter, which it sounds, a catheter, you know, it goes in stuff, you know, it goes inside, but I didn't want that. It just sits on top of me, which is disturbing, and it sounds disturbing because it is. It just sits on your stuff, men and women, it just sits on it, and then there's a little suction, and it just sucks whatever you let go, which... Your body, I will say I tried that because I just needed to pee. I just, just let me go to the bathroom. That didn't work because it was basically me trying to tell myself to go to the bathroom while laying down in my pants. I haven't peed my pants since I was a kid. I'm not gonna do it as an adult. So <laughs> it was a lot harder to like just say, okay, go to the bathroom. It's like, I'm laying completely flat. I'm not near a toilet. The psychological thing just took over and I was like, okay, now I can't go. Like, so it was gone. And then I got finally around 3 a.m. I finally got to go get my MRI. Uh, someone nice, a, a nice tech wheeled me back. What's wrong, kiddo? But basically I just, I got my MRI and my, my beautiful tech, she was so sweet. She showed me everything I was gonna be doing. So, so the tech took me back to, the, to get my MRI and they didn't, then I waited for about another two hours. So long story short, I got home around 6 a.m when I went and it happened around 12. So then I got my MRI. They finally, time has passed and I was just waiting, waiting. And then some, I was like, I really have to pee again, which is nice because I never got to go for the first time. Then somebody was, my one of my nurses came in and was like, okay, so they just double, like they glanced at your um, MRI and they said that if you keep your collar on, and you get assistance to go, like walk down the hallway, then you can go to the bathroom. And I was like, ah, take me now. I will say that was the best bathroom break of my life because I was holding it for so, I was honestly at the time I did, it was probably around 4 a.m., 4.15. I was holding it for about three and a half hours by then, four and a half hours, give or take. Um, so that was fun. And then they finally cleared my C-spine, got me out of the collar, and I 
was just exhausted by then. I did have Jeremy and my mom in the hospital with me. They were not in my room at the same time because they had to alternate switch because of, you know, like one visitor at a time because of COVID. But, you know, at least I had them here. My dad was here with Jude, but she was passed out, so she didn't really notice. But let's just say it was not fun. I don't have to wear a collar brace or anything. I'm not bruised, broken, or sprained, which is awesome. I'm just very sore and bruised, like on my shoulders. I, the only way, Jeremy thinks it's funny how I explained it, but it's what it feels like is that I, you know how like you sleep wrong and you have like a crick in your neck? It feels like a crick in my neck what goes all the way to my shoulders and my collarbone, but on steroids. Like it is like, oh, okay. So basic range of motion. And then has basic range of motion. <gasps> that even hurt to do that. Okay, so. I'm looking at you 90. That's as far as I can turn. Which isn't even nowhere. It's probably not that far at all. And same with that side. Because this whole, if you can tell, my collarbone is swollen. And same with my jugular vein is like popping out. So. Look at my jugular vein, that's ridiculous. So, my whole neck is popping. That's nice. But I just wanted to tell you guys that today's vlog is not gonna be normal, but I wanted to make sure that I kept the Vlogmas thing alive. But I'm gonna end it right here and say, because then I will rest today so that tomorrow, hopefully on the 23rd, I will be completely normal again, at least have movement in my neck. And I can be fine for the holidays and give you the end of Vlogmas spectacular. So give this video a thumbs up and give me a thumbs up for, you know, being in pain and give me some prayers. <laughs> and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, don't worry, I'm okay.